My name's Gladys Powney and I work at the Roman Baths in Bath in the southwest of England. The Roman Baths were built, not surprisingly, by the Romans in the first century when they came to Britain. The Romans loved to bathe and wherever they went they built a bathhouse. Here there was an abundance of readily available hot water so they didn't need to cut trees and burn wood and heat furnaces for the water so they were very happy and we know that the bath was in use before 70 AD. After the Romans left in the 5th century, the whole complex gradually collapsed, was forgotten and grassed over. It was rediscovered in 1879 and that's why the original Roman lead lining in the bath is still in place. There's original Roman lead um, piping running along as well. If people had known those resources were here and all the stone, it would have been taken away and reused. The Victorians, when it was rediscovered, added the columns and the terrace above the Great Bath and changed certain areas, but most of what you can see around you at the lower level is the original Roman and we have Roman paving all around. Uh, this is the Great Bath, this is the main visual image associated with the site and it fills with water which rises naturally in the Sacred Spring. The water is at 46 degrees centigrade which is why you see some steam rising because it's a cold day. As well as this being um, a bathing complex, there was also a temple nearby to the goddess Sulis Minerva. She was worshipped by both the Romans and the local um, British people. We also have the head of the goddess Minerva, which would have been in the temple. And this was found in a ditch in the 1700s. It had obviously been hacked off probably by early Christians who didn't like the thought that an idol was being worshipped in what was now a Christian country, uh, but none of the rest of her body was ever found. The water that you can see today actually fell about 10,000 years ago on the Mendip Hills, 20 miles away, and it takes that long for the water to drain down through the limestone, it's then heated geothermically and rises through a fault here in Bath. And the flow is very fast, it would fill a bath at home in about 10 seconds. There's enough to keep the great bath filled and we also have an overflow system to take away the excess water. Uh, the flow is over a million litres a day. Roman Great Drain still takes the water out now to the River Avon about 500 metres away. And we use the heat from the water to help to heat the buildings nearby, including the Abbey next door. Yeah. 